The 27th United States Congress was a meeting of the legislative branch of the United States federal government, consisting of the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives. It met in Washington, D.C. between March 4, 1841, and March 4, 1843, during the one-month administration of U.S. President William Henry Harrison and the first two years of the presidency of his successor, John Tyler. The apportionment of seats in the House of Representatives was based on the Fifth Census of the United States in 1830. Both chambers had a Whig majority. Major events March 4, 1841, William Henry Harrison was inaugurated as President of the United States April 4, 1841, President Harrison died and Vice President John Tyler became President August 16, 1841, President Tyler's veto of a bill to re-establish the Second Bank of the United States led Whig Party members to riot outside the White House in the most violent demonstration on White House grounds in U.S. history. May 19, 1842, Door Rebellion Major legislation April 19, 1841, Bankruptcy Act of 1841, ch. 9, 5 Stat. 440 September 4, 1841, Preemption Act of 1841, ch. 16, 5 Stat. 453 August 4, 1842, Armed Occupation Act, 5 Stat. 502 August 30, 1842, Tariff of 1842, Black Tariff, ch. 270, 5 Stat. 548 Treaties August 9, 1842, Webster-Ashburton Treaty signed, establishing the United States-Canada border east of the Rocky Mountains. Party summary Senate House of Representatives Leadership Senate President, John Tyler W., until April 4, 1841, thereafter vacant Presidents pro tempore, William R. King D., elected March 4, 1841 Samuel L. Southard W., elected March 11, 1841 Willie P. Mangum W., elected May 31, 1842 House of Representatives Speaker, John D. White W. Members This list is arranged by chamber, then by state. Senators are listed in order of seniority, and representatives are listed by district. Skip to House of Representatives, below. Topic. Senate Senators were elected by the state legislatures every two years, with one-third beginning new six-year terms with each Congress. Preceding the names in the list below are Senate class numbers, which indicate the cycle of their election. In this Congress, Class I meant their term began in the last Congress, requiring re-election in 1844, Class II meant their term began with this Congress, requiring re-election in 1846, and Class III meant their term ended with this Congress, requiring re-election in 1842. <laughs> House of Representatives Changes in membership 
The count below reflects changes from the beginning of the first session of this Congress. Senate Replacements, 9 Democrats, no net change Whigs, no net change Deaths, 2 Resignations, 8 Interim appointments, 0 Vacancy, 1 Total seats with changes, 10 House of Representatives Replacements, 17 Democrats, 3-seat net gain Whigs, 3-seat net loss Deaths, 8 Resignations, 12 Contested election, 1 Total seats with changes, 20 Committees Lists of committees and their party leaders Topic Senate Agriculture Audit and control the contingent expenses of the Senate Claims Commerce Distributing public revenue among the states select District of Columbia Finance Fiscal Corporation of the United States select Foreign Relations Indian Affairs Judiciary Manufactures Military Affairs Militia Naval Affairs Patents and the Patent Office Pensions Post Office and Post Roads Printing Private Land Claims Public Buildings and Grounds Public Lands Revolutionary Claims Roads and Canals Tariff Regulation Select Whole House of Representatives Accounts Agriculture Apportionment of Representatives select Claims Commerce District of Columbia Elections Expenditures in the Navy Department Expenditures in the Post Office Department Expenditures in the State Department Expenditures in the Treasury Department Expenditures in the War Department Expenditures on Public Buildings Foreign Affairs Indian Affairs Invalid Pensions Manufactures Memorial of the Agricultural Bank of Mississippi Select Mileage Military Affairs Militia Naval Affairs Patents Post Office and Post Roads Public Buildings and Grounds Public expenditures Public lands Revisal and unfinished business Revolutionary claims Roads and canals Rules select Standards of official conduct Territories Ways and means Whole Joint committees Enrolled bills Topic: Employees. Librarian of Congress, John Silva Meehan. Topic: Senate. Secretary Asbury Dickens of North Carolina, elected December 12, 1836. Sergeant at Arms. Stephen Haight of New York, elected September 4, 1837. Edward Dyer of Maryland, elected March 8, 1841 Chaplain George G. Cookman, Methodist, elected December 31, 1839 Septimus Tustin, Presbyterian, elected June 12, 1841 House of Representatives Clerk, Matthew St. Clair Clark of Pennsylvania, elected May 31, 1841 Sergeant-at-Arms, Elizor M. Townsend of Connecticut, elected June 8, 1841 
Doorkeeper, Joseph Fallensby of Massachusetts, elected June 8, 1841. Postmaster, William J. McCormick, elected June 8, 1841. Chaplain, John W. French, Episcopalian, elected May 31, 1841. John N. Maffet, Methodist, elected December 6, 1841. Frederick T. Tiffany, Episcopalian, elected December 5, 1842. Reading Clerks, data unknown, missing. See also United States elections, 1840 elections leading to this Congress United States presidential election, 1840 United States Senate elections, 1840 and 1841 United States House of Representatives elections, 1840 United States elections, 1842 elections during this Congress, leading to the next Congress United States Senate elections, 1842 and 1843 United States House of Representatives elections, 1842